In this video, we are going to have a fight. Saturation versus Vibrance. Fight! Hey there, this is Unmesh and before we dig into the differences between saturation and vibrance, it is important to note that both of the parameters control one thing and that is color. Talking about differences, think of it like this. Suppose you are a traveler and you're going for a one day journey and you need to carry two containers and at your house, in your house you have 10 containers, 10 different kinds of containers to carry water. You have flasks, you have plastic bottles, you have designer containers, you have jugs and stuff like that. You have in total 10. So if I were you, what I would do, I would fill two flasks with chilled water and get set for my journey. So vibrance is filling those two flasks and saturation is filling all the containers. If that was a bad example, the correct explanation is this. When you increase saturation, the colors of all the pixels get amplified. All the pixels. And when you increase vibrance, the colors of only those pixels get amplified, which are the midtones. Now, what are midtones? The tones that are not too bright or not too dark, somewhere in the middle. Somebody said example is not the best way to understand a thing. It's the only way and that's how we are going to learn. So let's look at this example. So in this example, when I increase the vibrance, the bright yellow right here in the sun does not increase. Let me, let me increase the vibrance. So this bright area does not increase its color. On the other hand, just the midtones, the colors that are in the middle, the colors that are not too bright, not too dark increases. Let's look at the darker area. When I increase the vibrance, no change here at all. Nothing increases, right? So let's zoom out. And now it's time for saturation. When I increase saturation, everything increases. Look at the highlights. Look at the highlights. It's turned red. Now, on the other hand, had I increased vibrance, this doesn't turn red because the highlights don't increase colors in vibrance. Only those tones which are in the middle amplifies its colors. So let's bring it back to zero. Also, when I increase the saturation, as you can see, even this yellow increases, everything increases and this becomes a complete mess. So a big tip, quick tip here is never, never increase saturation. I personally never increase saturation. Only specifically, rarely does it happen that I increase it. But, and even if I do, it's just 10 and not more than, never, never ever more than 15. I usually go three, five, seven, not more than that. And don't increase saturation. If you ever have to increase the colors, if you ever have to make the colors pop, go ahead and increase the vibrance, right? It looks much better and much realistic. Also, when do you have to touch the saturation slider? You only touch the saturation slider when you have to decrease the saturation. When you think the color is too much, only then touch the saturation slider and decrease the color, right? And if you take it all the way to the left, it becomes black and white. But you don't need to do that because there is an option in Lightroom called black and white. Now let's get back to color and let us understand vibrance and saturation, the differences through the histogram. So yeah, it's colorful again and vibrance and saturation to zero. Now when I increase vibrance, just look at the histogram, focus on the histogram. When I increase the vibrance, only the middle part gets affected. As I said, the midtones get affected. On the other hand, when I increase the saturation, Every single thing gets affected. Every single thing. Look at the look at the histogram. So when I increase it, it gets affected, it gets affected. On the sides, it gets affected. But vibrance, nothing but the middle gets affected. So I think that's pretty much it. What did you take from this video? Use the vibrance slider, not the saturation. Use the saturation slider only when needed in most rare cases. Use the saturation slider only to decrease the colors. And if you need to make a picture black and white, use the option black and white. Don't use the saturation slider. Like the video if you like it, dislike the video if you dislike it, but make sure you press the subscribe button. And if you don't do, somebody will knock you out. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Game over.